20 man, Paul Schofield, who lives in the country and built an outhouse, an old-fashioned long-drop toilet. He got together with some of his mates and built it using construction materials most people just throw away. Ian Woodley has the story. Now this looks like any other outhouse construction. Cut up some framing. Build a base. And put up the frame. But that's where conventional outhouse building ends. These are the leftovers from more than a few parties Paul and his mates have had over the years, downing their favourite brand of Tennessee whiskey. 350 bottles, $13,000 worth. Yes, it's a genuine long drop glass house outhouse. We were going to build a house out of them and the garage started getting full so I had to do something with them. So we thought a long drop would be a good idea. Paul says the construction was a bit tricky as you'd expect. We did two tiers at a time and that was probably the hardest part was keeping, keeping all the bottles together and then putting the whole wall up. Um, apart from that we just um, tied it with um, fish line just to keep it secure until the glue went off. News about this rather delicate dunny has spread all the way to the home base of the whiskey's makers. Jack Daniels um, kindly supplied a barrel for us to use as, um, well, pretty obvious really. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a shame but um, we think it goes with the outhouse really well. Try and make it as authentic as possible. Well, not quite to be honest. Paul's throne is a local wine barrel. This is the genuine sponsor's barrel from the American South. Paul and his mates couldn't bring themselves to take a saw to it. And one more secret exposed, it isn't actually used for what it's designed for. But it sure has attracted some attention. Ian Woodley, Coast to Coast News. Before we go to